Well, usually we start or we end a video with a picture of a working TV rather than start with it. Uh, this is a Samsung 46. It's a UE46, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I can't remember, but we'll check out the details in just a second. Uh, this belonged to an old chum of mine who said that the top third of the picture um, is not there. And so obviously I thought, well, backlights, I can sort that out. But then he said, and occasionally the picture just freezes and goes off completely, kind of fades away. Well, the backlights is a common issue which can be fixed. Um, I've only ever come across a, a picture fading away and freezing before when either the screen is failing, so let's hope not, or lose connection on the T-Con or maybe a T-Con problem. But... Um, I don't know. Usually if, that, if a screen is failing, you know a screen is failing. And I've had this TV um, tucked away in my spare room, and I really am trying to make space. It's been there for about six or seven months. Uh, the, the guy doesn't want it anymore. Um, he decided to go out and buy a new one and said, it's mine if I want it. So um, I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm, I'm going to flog it off. It hasn't got a stand. I mean, I could flog it as it stands now, but I'd hate for the fact that the um, the top end of the backlights to uh, to fade. Uh, so um, I'm going to have a look at what's causing that, see if I can replicate it, rattle them out, out of it, take the screen out and just see if we have got a problem there. And if I can solve that and then I can just get rid of the TV cheap, no warranty. And um, I've got several TVs in my spare room that just need to get out the way, just need to go. I'm going to sell them with no warranty. Um, I mean, I'm sure people have sold much worse TVs on Marketplace than this because I've plugged it in three or four times and never seen a problem with it. And the guy did say that the backlights came back on in full the day before he brought it to me, but he's had enough of it anyway, so if I want it, I can have it. And I've been meaning to do a little video on it, but it's not so much, ta you know, it's not so much fun taking a TV uh, apart when... There's not really a fault. So we've got to recreate the fault. I know you can see some flickering lines at the moment, but that's just the camera lens. So um, let's just see if I can replicate the top section of lights. I'm rather hope of backlights um, disappearing. Uh, there's probably one bulb out on one of the strips. That's what I'm hoping I'm going to see. Or there's a loose connection when I rattle it around. So um, I'll do the boring bit because obviously you've seen me take Samsungs to bits before. And I do apologize for people that are watching this video just for this particular video TV model number. Um, but it's, it's an extra 20 minutes of filming and editing, taking uh, the backs off and disassembling a TV. And I've done it on so many other Samsungs. It's all the same. Please go and check them out. So um, the next time you see me, I'll be in a happier state of mind. <laughs> And I will um, will have the screen out. Test all of the backlights. We disconnect the main board.
from the power supply. You can do this in several ways. You can either disconnect it there or disconnect it there. Um, as I don't want to do a balancing act because the screen is in front of me, I am just going to push those in and take it out. Now I'm hoping to see an indication of why the, um, the top third of the screen, which is usually the first three strips of backlights, sometimes don't come on. I'm hoping there's going to be a bulb or two out uh, that I can stick back in, but let's see. Nothing. <laughs> They're all on. They're all on and they're all lit up. So then we're going to have to do a bit of a connection test and see if any of the connections are a bit skew whiff. And to do that, just rattle the strip. Nothing there. Nothing there. No, there's none of these. Okay, there's also a connection in the middle, well, middle right, which is, actually I don't think there is a connection on these. Let's just pull the top one back and see if there is. Yeah, there is, it's there, look. And they're working flat out at the moment because we haven't got the main board put in, so... Let's just try the power board end and see if there's a loose connection here or there. Nothing. I will check the resistors on the power board. No. Okay, so I think this has been a fruitless experience. I don't understand the fault. Um, I don't understand both faults. Because at the moment it seems to be fine. So what can I do? I can only sell it as is, you know. It's had a thorough testing. And it all seems to be fine. What a waste of time. But I suppose if I am selling it, I at least need to tell myself that I've done the best I can to make sure it's okay. Well, I've prodded and I've poked and I've tested and every single backlight is working. As you know, the TV looks absolutely fine. I've just checked the settings and whoever owned it before, well, I know who owned it before, has got it on absolutely perfect settings. So um, I don't know, unless there is an odd backlight that's failing, um, which is always, always the case, but um, I can only see what I can see. I, know, I can only sell it in the condition that, um, I'm not gonna sell it for a fortune, am I? So, you know, I'm not gonna put a new set of backlights in. So this will be classed as an NFF, which stands for No Fault Found. Think. It's a very nice TV.